Think I'm perfect, 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 perfect. It's just perfect, 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 perfect. I'm perfect, 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 perfect. What's up, YouTube man? It's your boy Banco Boxing, and I'm back with another video, man. About to tell y'all what I'm banking on. Anyways, man, this video will be about Tim Bradley. You know it's been a whole bunch of controversy when it comes down to Tim Bradley and Errol Spence because Tim Bradley basically been keeping it the truth. Even if he's a top rank um, employee, he been, he been keeping it truth in his hearts of hearts. And got mad love for my boy Fred at Barbershop Conversations, but he should, he should know that outside the business part. And Tim Bradley is not a not being a hater. I'm gonna play some of this uh, interview. I'm gonna link it in my description. That's from Behind the Gloves. And it's entitled "Stop Saying You the Best, Be About It." Tim Bradley spits fire. Um, Time I spent to fight Crawford. Now watch. He got good stuff to say about Spence and Crawford things up and give different looks to Spence, you know, so you can't never count him out, but you got Earl Spence, you know what you're going to get from Earl Spence, you know, he's 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 multidimensional as well, you know, he can box off the front foot and the back foot as well, and you saw that against Garcia, so it's a great compelling matchup, you know what I mean, and I think that uh, I think that Spence will be the favorite in the fight, but, you know, I won't be surprised if, if, if the, you know, quarter pulls it off. The he was actually, I guess they asked him about the uh, Spence and Porter fight, and look at that, now, would a hater actually give somebody credit or would he say he's just trash? This man just told you that he know Errol Spence can box. He just told you that. But everybody else over there that's love, you know, PBC people, I swear up and down this man hating that he ducked Errol Spence. And he gonna touch on that. Let me see if that's next. Let me see. Put on mine. Pretty much have the same kind of style that he used to have. It's a similar, it's a similar style. You know, I, I like when he gets. And you know, Porter seems to be that type of. <laughs> <laughs> now look, here it is. Ordered the fight and you retired. Oh, the WBC. He said the WBC ordered the fight. He yeah. right. The WBC did order the fight, but but check this out. I fought Manny Pacquiao instead of Earl Spence. One, two. Two, this is the second thing now. I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna give it to y'all right now. The second thing is, is that when the hell have we been doing business or anybody from Top Rank been doing business with Al Heyman? You know what I'm saying? So, bruh, say whatever you wanna say, duck you and retire because I wanna face you, bruh. You know the fuck? You know who I am? I almost start cussing, you know what? <laughs> and I, I like when he got like that because he stepped out of the company man role for a second because, you know, on TV, you, you gotta look a certain way for ESPN and talk a certain way. But basically, at the end of the day, Tim Bradley, a black man. And that's, and that's the the look he's giving in this this video right now. It's like when somebody really got you messed up and you're like, no, you know who I am? Uh, you know who you're talking to? Hey, go ahead and talk your stuff real quick, Tim. You know who I am. Well, this you you need to catch truck. up, bro. You can drop the No, I don't want to drop that. But you know, you know who I am, bro. You know exactly who I am, man. You know what I'm saying? Five world championships, two division world champ, baby. All right. Some Spence ain't did yet, by the way. Just saying. He only been at welterweight his whole career. Come on now. Check the resume. Bro, check it. I fought Manny Pacquiao, the guy that you trying to fight at 40, the guy that's 40 years old right now, the guy that you keep screaming about instead of you screaming about fighting a guy, Terrence Crawford, who's the number one guy in the division right now, in my opinion. But you don't want to face him. Hey. I don't even know. Look, nothing needs to be explained after hearing that right there. And some people going to say, oh, well, Buzz said he ain't ducking on Twitter, and Tim gonna address that too. I don't wanna face Earl him, so has what? Said his name. Earl has said that he wouldn't. I don't like care about the if the Shannon name step up and fight, man. That's what I that's what it's all about. Be the best. Even the other side of the street or the, the Bro, I don't listen, it's there. It's there because when I was when I was coming up, that was the problem. I couldn't fight anybody from PBC. You know what I'm saying? We didn't do business with PBC. One and two, the WBC did order it, but the fight wasn't gonna be made because we didn't do business with them. You know what I'm saying? The fight wasn't gonna be made. So why would I even go down that alley when I got Manny Pacquiao right in front of me? Bradley, who's a tougher Who's a tougher fighter than Earl Spence? How happy were you that Terrence Crawford actually said that on the DAZN broadcast that he said there are no streets? Hang on, let me see if thing is right here. And you know what I'm saying? And I don't care what anybody. I really, honestly, bro. I'm comfortable with my skin. I don't care what anybody say at the end of the day. I don't care. I'm here to cover the 
on, on what's his name on Twitter, you know, Terrence say, no, he's not ducking. He's not ducking me. No, he's not ducking me. You know what I'm saying? Terrence has to say that. You want to know why? Because he's a businessman. That's why he has to say that. You know what I'm saying? He can't talk trash about Spence. He can't say nothing about that. He a businessman. He don't know when this man going to say, yo, let's, let's fight. Let's fight. And look, CJ Goodfellow been telling y'all this. The reason why Bud said that instead of saying, yeah, he ducking. So give CJ his props because he the only person on here that's been keeping it actual factual when it comes to Bud versus Spence talk. And when it came down to Tim Bradley, how people talking about he ducked them. How you duck somebody to uh, WC mandate to fight and then we, it wasn't even for the title. I haven't even researched back to see when that was mandated. To see who even had the WBC at the time. And he just said, you already knew back then they wasn't doing business. And for the people that come on, coming on here, talking to them, they still don't do business with uh, Top Rank and uh, Al Heyman. That's a lie. Uh, Bud has fought Felix Diaz. He's fought Amir Khan. He's fought uh, John Molina. I think those three PBC fighters right there. And Danny Jacobs has fought against Canelo. Of course, he's not with Al Heyman, but I'm saying in general. And then you got Tyson Fury versus Wilder finna happen. And he's with Top Rank now. So at the end of the day, if 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 Terrence, I'm not Terrence, if Arrow really wanted that fight, it'll happen. Everybody, like, it's it, it's stupid. Like, they gonna end up looking dumb when many don't even fight Arrow. They chasing this man down for this fight. Instead of just going off a of legacy and being great. It wasn't it wasn't like niggas like always trying to cash out. And I'm not hating on nobody pockets. I want them to get their money, bro. But like the Pacquiao fight, yeah, it's cool, but at the same time, we've been waiting on this Bud fight for about two years now. You, you told him when he moved to welterweight, get a belt, he got a belt, and y'all still ain't, you know, hollering his name. He used to be Free Smoke Jr., and then you start saying the side of the street. Now, if this don't let this be married and go wrong, and Sean Porter win. But hey, y'all be the thoughts. I'm a, like I said, I'm gonna link the video in the description, so y'all can tell me if Tim Bradley st sounds like a hater. Or Tim Bradley is keeping it real, which I believe him to be keeping it real in this, in this thing. Yes, he's going to be biased towards Bud, but at the same time, he's going to have a reason to back it up. He's not going to say, I like Bud. I want Bud to win just because I like him. He's been in training camps with Bud. He know what Bud can do. And Tim Bradley has competed on the highest of levels. So it ain't like he's just, he's not, it put it like this, it'd be different if he's the equivalent of Ron Hollins talking about boxing, but he's not. This dude's a champion in two different weight classes. Go look him up. Go look at Tim's resume. He ain't get that. I mean, yeah, people think he lost to Manny, but it's the reason why he was fighting Manny. He won no pushover, man. He won no pushover. Anyways, man, that concludes the video. Y'all know what to do, man. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, share this to your social media, man. Uh, and, yeah, that's it, man. I'm going to work on getting y'all some better content. Y'all finna see this page. like Y'all finna see this page get way better, bro. That's all I'm going to say. Banco Boxing out.